hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Erima if you haven't met me before if you're a returning subscriber hi welcome back as always hi <laughs> I'm a little confused about how to introduce you husband husband to be yeah husband to be okay yeah husband to be guys we talk a lot <laughs> That's the truth. We talk a lot in our videos. The first video that we filmed was supposed to be how we met, was supposed to be our first impressions about each other and how we moved from being friends to um, a relationship. But because we talk a lot, we forgot the ending part of that video. We, we actually enjoyed this thing. That's one of the beautiful <laughs> things about friends. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So we forgot the end part of that video and a lot of people were actually in the in the comments asking us, okay, so like what happened? How did you get there? You just stopped at where he started catching feelings and guys, in, in our minds, as we are filming that video, we have finished that story. Only for me to now get to editing and now realize that, ah, we talk a lot. <laughs> that video was over an hour long. We talk a lot. We're not going to talk more to this video. I hope so. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so how did we move from being friends? How did we move from getting into that corner of um, we are friends and now someone is catching feelings and someone is asking another person out and the other person is like, ah, from where to where. Guys, in, just in case you don't know what you're talking about, we have filmed the part one, part two, and this is part three. So I think you need to go and catch up on these videos right now on your screen before you come back so that you can understand where the G started from and where we are right now. Let me share mine. Okay. Um, so, so for me, how did I know that this person is the person that I would get married to? So of course, normally, generally, um there's no one particular person for anyone yeah true but then again um there are a particular type of people for you kind of kind person. of yeah. person for you kind yeah. of person exactly yeah, exactly yeah so um that is being established so for for her um getting to know her first of all coming into our space, getting to know her, seeing that um, we connect intellectually, seeing that our value system aligns, of course, seeing that she loves the Lord, you know, because one of the things, like I said in the previous video, that is key for me, someone who has a working, talking relationship with God, you know, so seeing all of that, and then, of course, beautiful and all of that, you know, she fits into the kind of person you know that i would want to marry so i'm i'm first of all just trying to reiterate that the the issue of the kind of person was already sorted before i got into the space of saying i like this person the bigger question is now that she is part of the kind of people that you know you would want to get married to based on the things you were looking out for and all of that how do you now know that this is the person I'm in the kind the of kind persons, of persons. <laughs> <laughs> because i mean there were there were, there were different people who actually or there are different people who are actually in, in that, that kind, kind you know so how do you now know that among everybody in that kind you see this person i mean there are lots of ladies who are smart there are lots of ladies who are beautiful there are lots of well how do you now know that this person is the person that's the gist. Why so, is that about? <laughs> mine, is, mine would sound quite spiritual. Are you think mine is not? I'm not saying it's not. And I don't want it yeah. to look like I am being extra. But you, that's who we are. You cannot say you're being exactly, extra. That is exactly. who we are. Spiritual people. Of that's course, who we are. Course. Before I came into Abuja, I was based in Lagos. I was working in a consulting firm in Lagos. And I was in that space where... Um, I was just there trying to, you know, get get to, get um, settled and balanced with my life and all of that. I had a few people in my space and I was still praying about, you know, all of that. And then I wasn't getting any clarity as to the decision as to who, right? I wasn't, I wasn't in that space where, you know, I've gotten a hold of who God wants me to really be with tangibly. Added to the fact that I also felt I wasn't really ready for that as well i wanted to feel more settled and more ready for the decision of marriage because for me i don't want to do a relationship that wasn't heading to marriage yeah. i don't know how to do let's see how it goes banky, banky. What, what is seeing how it goes if you don't know where it's going to don't start yeah you should be able to see where it's going before you start a journey so for me 
I, I was in that space where I wanted to be sure that this person is the person among the kind before I go into that journey. And then when I made the decision or when God gave me a clear instruction that I would be leaving Lagos to Abuja, that was one of the biggest decisions I made in my life because I felt I was living the life I was used to. I felt... Oh, you I know. Was, yes, I was living, you know, a lot. And it was like a huge sacrifice for me, a huge sacrifice for me. And I'm moving to a new environment. I haven't been... Uh, I've visited, but I haven't really been in Abuja and settled and all of that. So it was really a very huge, you know, demand that God was placing me to come over to Abuja for the assignment he would have me do. Um, so when I got the confirmation in my spirit, man, that this is what God will have me do. One of the clear words I heard God say to me the day I made that decision, clearly and the peace in my heart, that going to Abuja was God's will for my life. One of the things God say, said to me clearly in my ears is, in your purpose, you would find your partner. So for me, it was like, oh, double P, purpose, partner clearly so i knew that going to abuja i'm going to find my partner it might be someone that i've known either in lagos or you know back there in campus or even someone i'll meet in abuja because god will lead you to people that you know yeah god works with your level of knowledge so the people you know is the people he will lead you to so true i mean if you want him to lead you better you have to he will bring people your way for so that you know them so it's good you know more people know great people because god will definitely lead you around people that you, you know. know and last year that was 2022 um my birthday october 14th when i got into my when i got to my birthday october 14th i was really praying for the new season i was moving into my birthday and I got a knowing in my spirit, a very strong knowing. And then she was already my friend. She was already in my space and all of that. But we're not dating. Yeah. We're not dating and all of that. Like I told you when we started dating, all of that. So um, one of the things um, I also now got in my spirit was I'm going to get married this year. That's 2023. I just knew that it was time for me to get married in my spirit. It was part of the knowledge that I, was, I had in my spirit. I didn't have anybody I was dating. I didn't have anybody I was in a relationship with. Mm. But I knew it was my Kairos season for me to get married. You know, and then she was in my space. So I began praying because, of course, I now like this person. And all of that was the end of the year and all of that. I like this person. I'm looking, okay, God, this is the person I like. But I'm very open-minded when I pray about the will of God for my life. Yeah. If I wasn't open-minded, I wouldn't have come to Abuja. But, of course, I like her. But of course, she fits into the kind of people. God cannot lead you away from the people that fits into your spiritual work, your value system, your core values, all of those things that are in alignment to the principles of the Bible, you know, and his word. God cannot lead you out of it, yeah. you know. And then she was one of the person that was praying when I got a conviction in my heart. No, I didn't get any constraint. You know, there are people I've thought about, okay, is this the person? But then again, at the point of trying to make a decision, I just have a restraint in my spirit. I just have a constraint in my spirit. I just have an unrest that I can't lay hands on. Not because they are bad people, not because there's anything wrong, but I just don't know why I couldn't find my peace. I noticed that for her, I had that peace. I had that. I didn't have any constraint. I didn't have any hold back. I didn't have any of those things that put me in a space where I was thinking, um, all of that, something holding me back. Yeah. I was just getting a nudge. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is it. So beyond the fact that the season of my life was a confirmation, beyond the fact that I had had a word before I met her, which had gone ahead to let me know that I will find my partner and my purpose, all of those things were just putting together to know that this is the, the person. person. I told my dad. I told my spiritual dad. Um, and all, I also told my biological dad. My biological dad is also a spiritual dad to me. So those are like two pivotal people in my life. And this is it and this is it. Pray with me. And both of them had the same, the same conviction that, okay, this is what God will have you do. Confirming what God has said to me. Confirming, so for me, yeah. it was, this is it. I'm not even guessing. She is the one for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So um, I guess it's my turn now. Yes, yes. All right. Josiah had been my friend at this point for a while. Like we had been friends, we've been good friends. And you know, the beautiful thing about our kind of friendship is that we see every day. 
<laughs> some of your friends, some of your closest friends, you don't get to see them every day, but we see each other every day. So it was impossible for us not to talk. It was impossible for us not to communicate. At first, when he came and said, saying, oh, I like you. I think we need to, you know, take this seriously. I want to take this seriously. I was kind of taken aback, I'm not going to lie, and I just said no. The way I react to some things is I've noticed is quite different from the way other people react to things. So at that point, I'm like, I'm not, a, if it's friendship that is making you get here, maybe we should cut off this friendship and you should go on your own path. I would come back home and, I'll, and I just felt that the Holy Spirit was kind of unhappy with mm. me. And I would ask him why. And he's like, how can you say you have a walk with me? Mm. How can you say that you have a relationship with me? And when it comes to the pivotal decisions of your life, mm. you don't ask me. You just go and do what you want and come mm. back and think that we are good. Let's continue our relationship from where mm. we stopped. Mm. It doesn't happen that way. Mm. We cannot be in such a deep relationship. And then you come to this, this that would determine the rest of your life. Mm. And <laughs> you don't involve me. Mm. At that point, I, I started becoming more open-minded mm. if you know me anybody that is skinny that is my friend i taunt you i did not ever imagine myself marrying a skinny person yeah so <laughs> what's the emphasis oh, about that's, that's the truth you've always wanted so that um i will add in this life and that's that's part of the goals as we just get married now i've told you that's what god has called you to do in my life <laughs> so josiah look at my son make him out <laughs> feed him spiritually but it's not like you're not eating what? well it's just i feel like this is your physique and to no, be honest no. i'm being very honest now I actually, i'm beginning to appreciate it because i'm quite on the big side let's help our children everybody can be big in this house i thought that i was very my will was very submitted to god mm. until the holy spirit started asking me to search within mm. your flesh is too alive mm. literally that's what the holy spirit told mm. me because how exactly are you coming to the point of marriage and the first thing on your mind is skinny? Apart from being skinny, another mm. thing that I had as an obstacle in my head is I didn't want to marry someone that I worked with. Mm. I felt like it was a lot. Mm. Marrying someone in the f same working environment, yeah. I just felt it was too much. And then <laughs> the last part of it, I think, is where the Holy Spirit really dealt with me. One of the things that I think is the... I would never trade for is my relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm. He talks to me in a way that <coughs> no other person can, and I get it. Mm. So the last thing I said at that point, guy, you were not balling. <laughs> you were not balling, and I come from a family where. What do you mean by balling? You do not have money. Mm. And I. <laughs> And anybody that tells you that that should not be a concern, I don't think the person is being completely honest. I come from a family where my parents have worked hard mm. to make sure that I've never lacked a need. I won't say my parents are rich, but my parents have worked. I've never thought about where my next meal will come from. I've never thought about school fees. Do you know that, you know, the way, the way, the way, the way she, she was sounding and all of that, I mean, like I said, I'm getting to hear this part now, you know, but then one of the things I was even appreciating her for, it's just so funny, is that I was appreciating her for the fact that she, yes, she said yes to me when I wasn't bawling. Yeah. Like, now, it's not like I'm blown, but trust me. <laughs> These are way better. <laughs> God has blessed us. Let's not even. God has I blessed us. I don't, I don't soft. <laughs> God has blessed us. I might not us. look soft, but trust me, I don't <laughs> soft. <laughs> I don't oh, soft. God. But what I'm saying is, one of the things I was even. is now I'm hearing this thing of. Wait, oh, no, you're interrupting you my seen, story. I'm trying to even. I'm, say, wait, I'm being I honest because I know you have not heard this thing you. before. And that's the truth. Now, Go you were not born. I didn't even know that it wasn't about you, Seth. That's what I'm trying to say. That it was even the Holy Ghost. Yeah, wait. It Hold like on. You, Our you. relationship, am I, I cannot be separated from the Holy Ghost. Now, that's the spirit that is alive <coughs> in me. <Continue>. So, <laughs> at that point, I was like, guy, this guy is not really bowling like that. This guy, listen, they ask us some about And um, I was a little worried. I'm and not because I'm materially, of course, you have. <laughs> uh, and not because you are, I, I am materialistic. Because the truth is that anybody that knows me knows that Irima is not materialistic. That's, I can even say that for myself. Um, yeah. But I was just worried. I've always grown up having needs met. What if mm. I get married and then it comes to a point where ah, we are struggling to get... I don't know how... I, I've never known myself. You know some people... 
so wait now but you know some people like my older siblings grew up when they were born when my parents are not really soft like that and then mm. things became soft but the truth about it that i was born when things were soft mm. so i have never known life not soft you know what i'm saying and that's the truth but you must learn to abase and abound I, that's, soft I get soft. that scripture. I have. It has never been my reality, and I'm not. This is not even me being prideful. You know, humility. Of course, I it get it. It has never been my reality mm. to to abase. It has never been my reality. Mm. So but you should. Yeah. Not, it can't be our reality. I mean, but I love the fact that you were able to. Yeah. The Holy Spirit worked on you to abase, like accept accept the mindset of uh, yes. even though this guy hasn't. Let me tell you the mindset. You are not the Holy Spirit. Every time you be claiming as that Holy Spirit. So Mm -hmm. I told the Holy Spirit that I don't know how to, I don't know how I would react. I don't know how I would feel. I don't want to be in a marriage and be unhappy when there is no money to Mm. eat, when basic provisions are not met, when I don't know how I would react in that situation because the truth is that I've never been in that situation before. Mm -hmm. And here's what the Holy Spirit told me. Mm. The Holy Spirit said that that is the height of lack of trust in God. I literally, the Holy Spirit told me you don't. Ah, when God is, I literally for felt that the Holy Spirit was disappointed in my reasoning. Mm. And this is just me being honest and vulnerable. Holy Spirit, thank you. I, I literally felt that the Holy Spirit was disappointed in my thinking. Like, how can the journey we have had? Mm-hmm. I mean, I gave my life to Christ in SS one. From the journey we have had, how can you say that you are trusting a man for provisions? Mm. How can you say that? Is this man is not so like how can you even think that a man can fulfill your needs mm. when God says that the desires of the woman will be on the man? Mm. That's the old covenant, like it's not, it's not what that's not our reality now. Mm. Mm. God is our provider, He's gyro. So I just felt the Holy Spirit, first of all, being disappointed and then getting to the point where He started teaching me the way to go about my faith in God. Mm. This actually was a, a conversation with the Holy Spirit. I still didn't meet you to tell you I've agreed at that point. Mm. It took a while. One of the things that I would say is, Lord, your will, not my will. Mm. I would almost go back to Egypt and then I would still tell the Lord, Lord, help my heart. Mm. No matter what I desire, no matter what I want to desire that is outside your will, beat me into shape. Mm. Correct me, drag me if you need to, but don't let me miss it. One of the days I was trying to we arranged my stuff. I was trying to, I think that was when I had moved to this place. I found a journal, which I don't know why it's not here right now. I think I should get it. Let me get it. I'm back. This journal I wrote 19th of September 2021. And I was praying. <laughs> I don't know why I'm shaking right now. I was praying and it was totally unconnected. I can tell you that for sure. I was literally dealing with anxiety at this point <laughs> and this was one of the times when the lord started leading me if i get emotional don't mind me this was part of the time when the lord has started leading me on peace <laughs> and the lord was teaching me peace in him mm-hmm. and i knew i was not praying for a husband mm. i knew that that was totally not my prayer <clears throat> and then the lord told me pick up a journal i picked up my word notes the i don't know if you've seen it you've seen mm, it in my Ankara mm, notes mm. i picked up that note and the lord said no pick up a journal that is different from what you have ever used before so i picked up a new journal this is from divine's call to bad this is divine's call to bad journal and i picked up this one and i started writing and every page i wrote here was inspired by the holy spirit the holy spirit told me remember these are i know that you may not know the decision to take where you get at this journey and this was 2021? This was 2021. Mm. 19th of September 2021. <laughs> I had not started working in this place. We haven't even met. I was we haven't Lagos. met. You are in Lagos. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit started telling me, this is what. Look out for these 15 things. And when I started going back to this, I did not find any of the things I was concerned about in these 15 things. Mm. Number one, a God-fearing man. A man who is submitted to God as his head. A man who seeks the heartbeat of God, who puts God first in everything. Not a man who mouths, I love God, but a man who lifts the talk. Mm. Because I realized that only a man who loves God can love you the way you want to be loved. A man who prays. 
a man that will provoke me to more prayer by his ceaselessness in the place of prayer. Mm. I want a man, this is the third point, I want a man who loves God and is deeply involved in the things of God. Mm, deeply involved, you know, that's a pastor. <laughs> that's a pastor. You didn't know. And I didn't want to marry a pastor, but this was what the Holy Spirit asked me. I want a man who sees me, who notices me, who looks at me, pays attention to details. And the fact that you can get me even when I'm not speaking. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number five, I want a man who loves me the way Christ loves the church, who is ready to give up everything like Christ. Mm -hmm. And I've seen you. I'm going to come to this number five later. And that's where we'll it probably close out this video. Number six, I want a kind man who is kind to me and who is kind to everyone. I want a man who understands boundaries. Because mm -hmm. I feel like this was very important. Mm. And then for the Holy Spirit to even say that that is something you have to look out for. This particular point disqualified a lot of people mm. that we are in my circle at the time. Mm. I want a man who understands boundaries, who will not embarrass me by putting me in compromising situations with people and with other women. I want a man who respects me, a man who is respectable and who is respectful. Mm. <laughs> I'm just trying to summarize everything. I want a man who is not afraid of my becoming. <laughs> Who is excited, who is passionate, who is zealous to push me. Mm. I want a man who has a leash on his temper. <laughs> I want a husband who dreams and is not afraid to pursue them. Mm. Who is never comfortable in his comfort zone, mm. but seeking to acquire new territories. But 12, I want a man who communicates. And I told you that that thing is something that you, you do so effortlessly. This was 2021. That thing, I want a forgiving man. A man, I want a man who won't keep records of wrongs and won't. Okay, let me take a break. <laughs> Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit is intentional <laughs> about your life and your destiny, go ahead. Okay, 14. I want a husband who cherishes our union and wants above all to ensure that it works. The last point is 15. I want a man who is passionate about raising godly seed. Mm. Interested in our children's life. Present, particular about raising an army for God in his children. A husband mm. whose children would have no doubt that he loves them. Who would be able to call when they are in trouble, when they need counsel, when they need prayers. A man who can discern the destinies of our children. A husband who can be a father. So... <laughs> This, this is the first time I'm getting to know Yeah, this. so I know that you did not know this. A few days after, I had moved to this house with family and then had spent a lot. <laughs> I had spent a lot of money. I had done new furniture. So I was literally at a very flat place. I was driving to go and get... I had my car at that time. My car had just come. And I was driving to go and get the last piece of furniture somewhere. And you opted to drive behind me because of how heavy that furniture was so that you could help me carry it. I don't know if you remember this. I was literally almost turning into the street where I would get, you know, my furniture and we were in traffic. You are driving behind me, but I think because of how, you know, Abuja people can be, you are now, I think, about two cars behind me. So we're in traffic. We are not moving. We are parked, stationary. And then next thing I hear behind, whoosh! I packed, I came down, <laughs> and this woman had bashed my car. My car was not up to a month at the time. Yeah. I was livid. I don't think I've ever been that angry in, in, since then. I was livid. She sat in the car, she didn't come out. I met her, I said, Madam, what is this? I tried to even park, and I realized that she had broken one of my back sensors. I said, Madam, we are not moving. So you can't say I was rolling. Why did you hit me? And then she starts saying she's sorry. She's sorry. She's ready to fix the car. And then, long story cut short, we go to my car company. Oh, yeah, fix the car. And Duma says, I don't have money. I said, Madam, what do you mean? She says, I don't have it. I don't have it. Duma was being very adamant about it. 
and I was so upset. Mm. I was shouting. Mm. And I remember calling you and I said, I don't like the way I'm shouting. I feel like I shouldn't be shouting this way because of, you know, my relationship with God. But I'm upset at this woman. She's not trying to be helpful. She's she's trying to be difficult. She's really trying to be difficult and frustrate me. Like, you are driving around and I'm leaving my work and I'm crippled at my car company. And they cannot start working on my car except you. And you're telling me you don't have it. And then next thing, she's, he says, okay, let me talk to the woman. And he talked to the woman. Me, I was too upset. I didn't even talk to the woman again. Next thing he told me is, oh, don't worry. She will pay. Just come back to the office. Take um, take boat and come back. She will pay. What do I know? The next day I go and I pick my car. The woman has paid. The woman has paid. <laughs> About maybe three weeks after, I, w I well, came back to... Over. I think it was over, actually. Over three weeks. And I come back. And I'm moving on with my life. I'm telling everybody how I made the woman pay for the car. The woman is very this, the woman is very that. And then I come back, of course, we are still crying. Ah, I don't have money. I've moved to a new place. He is saying, ah, my dear, things are really difficult in this season. But God will help us as friends. We are just discussing about our financial situation. A week or no, a couple of weeks after, right? And I was saying that Kai. I just feel like the way, not because what the woman did was right, though, but I just felt like ah, the Holy Spirit was telling me that. No matter what, I shouldn't have shouted at the woman like that. Like, what's a car? Why would I be screaming at the woman like that? And I told you that the Holy Spirit was leading me mm. to actually return that money back to her. I started feeling like, if, no, even if she was wrong, let her just take the money and go. Mm. He, you told me, don't call her. I don't think you should call her. And I was wondering why. And then, you know, I said, because I paid for it. <laughs> that is actually getting to me now that you're saying it, actually. And I was like... How can my fellow broke person? Guys, <laughs> there's a kind of kindness that somebody will show you. And I wasn't even doing it for you. I didn't even bother to make up my hand to me. And you were not going to talk about it. The only reason why you talked about it was because you knew you that I was going to you. call the woman and give her money that she did not even pay in the first place. And then I remember that day. I said, excuse me, I went back and I opened this and my eye just literally went to... <coughs> it's okay. My eye literally just went to this journal and I picked it up and I said... <sighs> A man who would love me like Christ loved the church mm. and is willing to give up everything. Like, at that point, I, you did not have... It's okay. You did not have. That was when I came out and I said, let's, I, I remember what I told you. I said, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this because I would be silly if I missed all the signs mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit, not just signs, literally, but he literally told me. And that's where the journey started. <laughs> oh my God, how I'm did this end up emotional. here? Actually, I'm getting emotional because I actually didn't know all of this. I just hope that we're able to put out all parts of, of this video, to be I'm honest. I hope so. To know this. I'm sure it's going to bless quite a number of people. I just hope that I can put this. up all this part. And one of the major morale as we wrap up that I got from her experience is the Holy Spirit literally telling you, do not use temporary measures. Very temporary, to superficial, nonsense <laughs> measures. Slim that tomorrow I can add. I'm telling um, you. No, uh, you are not too soft that overnight. Overnight! You can soft. Thank God. It sounds like a lie. Everything turned around. So, all her worries got dealt with it. And that's and just God just, just like, it felt like the Holy Spirit was trying to tell me, see now. See, see what you are worried about. See, just, just see. Just see. a lifetime See how I can make a mess of your worries. See. With the ah, basis God. of temporal measures. Yeah. Never. That's the main thing I could derive from what the Holy Spirit was telling her. Do not use a temporal measure. To make a lifetime decision, you can get married to someone who who is up today and will be on. <laughs> this video has a lot. I just set out this video hoping that I will come and embarrass myself. I think this is the first time I'm probably even crying. <laughs> it's okay. But I yeah. got emotional. I got teary actually. Yeah. So that's our story. Just God true. has a plan. God is intentional about your life, about your marriage. You know, every single journey, everything He has told you, take them down. Yeah. We could see that both of us referred to what God had said to us before that became an affirmation to meeting with each other. 
the last thing I want to say is whatever God is saying, <laughs> write it down. Write it down. Nice. Write it down. I have my journal. Well. <laughs> Write, it <down>. Write it down. <laughs> you will be shocked when the fulfillment will come. Mm. You would go back, mm. and then you will be shocked at how clear God can be in His speaking. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Thank you. We hope this is not. Please long. subscribe. Please like, and please, if you have never shared our video before, share this one. Yeah. Cut out the part that you like, mm. post it on Instagram, tag us. Our Instagram handles are right here on the... I don't know if you want yours out. Do you want it out? Mm, that's fine. No okay. Our Instagram handles are on the screen. Please tag us on Instagram. Please share. Make share, sure that this share, video share. gets to as many people as you yeah. should and as many people that it can bless. God bless you. <laughs> and see you in the next one. Bye, guys.